nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Well hello, hello there! How are you guys doing today? Yeah, it's already by mid-morning now I had to charge my uh, GoPro remote before I could start recording anything because uh, I do everything hands-free so uh, I don't touch the cameras right so uh, I forgot to plug it in last night and usually it lasts me about two days so then I gotta charge it up right so uh, this is the remote that I use and it's nice and handy I just press one button and that's it I don't have to touch either one of the cameras so just so you guys know we're hands-free yes indeed so we had already gone over to our customer and picked up our uh, load and uh, now we're making our way back to the uh, terminal because I know they do our paperwork over there so uh, I know last time I did this load the uh, customer had already emailed all the paperwork to the uh, Penner's office there so I didn't even need to email anything so I just uh, go there and picked up my uh, paperwork already I mean it wasn't cleared yet In but uh, meters. Turn left on. More it was definitely uh, ready to go so yeah, RJ is telling me to go a different way than I want to go so I gotta be paying a little bit of attention to but yeah we already went down and picked up an empty trailer from the terminal and went down to the customer and just got loaded it was actually very quick to get loaded there today so I was very impressed today last time I was down there it took a little bit to get loaded down there so I suspected that would gonna take the same thing right and nope this time it was very fast I was in and out of there like within an hour so that is that is pretty quick my appointment was like quarter after 10 and I got there at 10 o'clock by quarter after 10 I was already in the dock and you know by 11 o'clock Eastern time we're already leaving so yeah so that was very very quick but hey that's the way it is and I ain't complaining about it one bit at all I'm just very happy that I'm able to uh, go south again at least I don't have to go back through Ontario and because you know that snowstorm that we're having at home right now is coming east obviously so uh, I ain't gonna have to run in that too much I mean we might get a little bit up there in Illinois but maybe it's warm enough to where it's just gonna be rain right let's hope so anyways keep our fingers crossed no I did on purposely not fuel last night just so that way I could uh, scale this load I know last time it was fairly heavy I know right now it says 40,000 pounds 40,228 pounds in the box so uh, that is never accurate on this one here so so I knew that in advance luckily so I didn't fuel up so we're gonna go back to the husky first and then we're going to go ahead and scale the load make sure that we're legal and then we can put fuel in then we're going to go ahead and put some fuel in here but other than that we're just going to go to uh, husky scale uh, go to the terminal pick up the paperwork and then i'll be uh, making my way to coral stream illinois yes indeed i have just gotten to the terminal and uh and i uh got my paperwork layout. all set up now for the border the entrance to the right on although it's Tenso. not official yet that we're cleared yet but uh all of it has been faxed away to the brokers and everything so that we uh they can set everything up over there We'll be good to go across the border here probably within about four hours usually that's how long it takes to get it all set up but uh, yeah we're good to go now at least up to the border right <laughs> yeah but we are gonna go ahead and get as close to the border as possible if 
like we're not cleared I'm gonna be making a pit stop anyways because I do want to get some fuel and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and uh, go towards the border about I think about 50 kilometers 55 kilometers before the border there's a pilot truck stop there and I'm gonna go down there and fuel her up over there so that way I got Canadian fuel and it's treated fuel so it's winterized a little bit already so uh, we're good to go when it all of a sudden gets cold it's supposed to get fairly cold in Manitoba this weekend although I don't know what kind of reload I will get but uh, but yeah we'll find out I guess tomorrow right yeah speaking of that I should probably tell them what time I'll be there and now they can uh, start looking for a load for me too right that would make sense man yeah, we're just here at the traffic light right now I'm just trying to get uh, out of Toronto right now go oh, I'm on Kirtney, uh Drive right now, Kirtney Park Drive. We got a four, uh, 410 Highway 410 coming up here in a little bit. That's where we're gonna go down, and that will take us up to the 401, and then uh, we'll go down 401 all the way to the border. Yeah, looks like the clouds are starting to break up a little bit there, but. I don't know as long as it doesn't snow I'm good right it was drizzling last night coming into Toronto and there around London it was actually turning into snow a little bit but nothing serious nothing serious I am however happy they're making an on-ramp over here instead of coming uh, like doing a loop like that in they're actually making an on-ramp here to this Courtney right Park drive now so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna go on to uh, Highway 410. Hopefully that 401 won't be uh, too crazy busy there today, so we can get out of town in no time at all. That would be nice. It is one o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time right now, so it might get a little traffic there somewhere yet, but. Hopefully it ain't going to be too bad. I heard yesterday a driver saying that he was coming out of Toronto last night as I was coming towards Toronto and he said there was like miles and miles of backup over there and by the time I got there it was all gone but but yeah let's go find out and see what happens. We just finished fueling up over here at the Fly and J here to the right yeah so that means we're only about a half an hour away from the border, ladies and gentlemen. And that sun is appearing to go down already. I can't believe it. It's like quarter to four already. And that sun is starting to go down, 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 down. Yeah. I guess we'll have a little bit over half an hour, I guess, to the border. But uh, probably 45 minutes. But yeah. I have already gotten me a reload offer just before I got here I got me a message there so I checked it and uh, sure enough we got us a reload offer so uh, we're still in the works of that see how that's going to turn out now that load that I'm picking up is going to Edmonton Alberta and uh, they have told me to bring it back to the Steinbach yard but I said, you know what? Why don't uh, I take it through to Edmonton? That give me some awesome miles if I can do that. I sent a message asking them if they would allow me to do that. So now we're just waiting on an answer back from them to find out if they'll uh, actually let me take it through or not, right? So it's gonna be a matter of time to find out before they'll give me an answer probably. It probably will be no. That's what I'm thinking, but oh well, we'll see. You can never give up hopes, right? Would be kind of nice to go uh, go to Edmonton uh, and back. That would be some awesome miles.
miles. I would really enjoy that. That's for sure, but in the meantime, we're going to be focusing on getting to our delivery. We still have 566 kilometers to go. So that's about six hours worth of driving that we got to do yet. And I can probably do four or five of those hours yet today, so I might just get out the outside of, uh, I guess you could say Indiana. Maybe I'll go up there by exit 12 in Michigan to that TA there. But we'll see how late we will drive. Haven't quite made up my mind on exactly what we're going to do. And the other thing, it's going to be probably depending on how fast it's going to be crossing the border again because today is Wednesday and on a Wednesday it's usually a disaster here at the border so I remember that from last time and a buddy of mine did that exact same thing a week later it was the same thing so we'll see how it goes today but I sure hope it ain't gonna be too bad today but oh well if it is it is we just gonna have to deal with it right that's what I say Got a little bit of a wind out there, and as you can see, the clouds have almost disappeared. It's like, those, those don't really look like rain or snow clouds, right? So, I don't really think I'm going to have to worry about it here tonight. Or maybe later, I guess, but we'll find out. I am finished driving for the day, but my day is not over yet. We got to go in the back there and do some video editing for you guys. So you guys can watch something, right? <laughs> yeah, we also got to go in there and schedule our video yet for tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So that way you guys actually get to see the video. It's uploaded, but it needs to also be scheduled. So that way you guys get the chance to watch it first thing in the morning. Before I even wake up. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, but anyways, we made it up here to Sawyer, uh, Michigan. We're only 115 miles to our delivery, so we can easily make it on time to our delivery. So that kind of makes me happy, 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 happy. Yes, indeed it does. I just wanted to show you guys that truck over there. I think that looks fairly good with them lights like that. I think that's fairly nice. I sure do believe that's nice, so. But anyways, I'm done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog that I created today. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow morning. So don't go nowhere. We'll see you right here in the comments. Yes, for sure. Bye. <laughs>